siblings and today I have a serious issue to talk about which has brought human race to its knees and it is causing chaos all around the world. COVID-19, also known as the novel coronavirus, is spreading rapidly all around the world causing disruptions all around the world, travel restrictions, quantities and chaos. A lot of you might have wondering what is coronavirus? This disease started in in China, Wuhan, China, caused by a new species of virus called the novel coronavirus. They belong to a member of the coronavirus family that was first identified in the 1960s. They are responsible for causing a range of uh, causing a range of medical issues in humans, such as the common cold and the flu and more severe life-threatening forms like SARS and MERS. SARS and MERS came from the same family of the coronavirus. Crucial question is, how did the recent outbreak occur? Well, like other coronaviruses, it came from animals too, in a form of a zoonotic disease. Many of, you, many of the infected patients either worked or frequently shopped at the Hunan Wholesale Market in, Ch- in the Chinese city, in the center of Chinese city. It is believed that it transmitted by touching or consuming the animals over there. Sci- and scientists are still trying to figure out the cause of this virus. I mean, I'm curious to know uh, some of the symptoms. Can you tell some? Sure, what a great question. I can answer the symptoms right now. Well, the symptoms are very close to the common cold. So if you have those symptoms, go to the uh, doctor and get you get yourself scanned immediately. Well, the, f- the symptoms are loss of breath and there are also a dry throat, which includes in dry coughing. And another symptom is um, dizziness. You might feel some dizziness and the fourth symptom is you might get a flu or cold like feature in yourself. What? I don't want to get coronavirus. How can we prevent not getting it? So actually a really good question again. Where are you getting these questions from? So. The first thing you should do is wash hands because coronavirus cannot enter through hands. But when you touch your face, it can enter through your nose, eyes, ears, or mouth. So be careful with that. And buy a lot of hand sanitizers if you are not, if you do not frequently wash hands. And and the next one is cook meat and eggs thoroughly. It is because when you put meat in the freezer it collects a lot of bacteria over it and it could, one of them could be coronavirus and you should cook it very thoroughly because when you cook it it could kill the the heat kills the bacteria but if you don't do not cook it thoroughly you will eat the bacteria and you could get sick or get coronavirus and another one is avoid contact with a person with a cold or flu because the symptoms are very same they could have coronavirus And since the coronavirus outbreak occurred, many shopkeepers are getting out of the stocks of hand sanitizers, masks. So be quick and get the hand sanitizers, masks to keep safe from the coronavirus. And if you want to be really safe, do not get social interact or go in big crowds, which will help you a lot. Do not do not forget that whenever you cough or sneeze and if you have the flu or something, do not cough like (coughs) <coughs> cough like this with a flexed elbow like <coughs> because it helps it, it it helps coronavirus can also transmit through air so be careful with that and whenever you sneeze either use a tissue or as a flexed elbow i showed you a chew like that okay thanks ramin i will make sure i wash my hands as well and uh, i also buy masks and hand sanitizers because I don't often wash my hands every time. Thank you so much. Guys and Rania, please do not forget to drink a lot of water because coronavirus usually affects people with weak immune system. And do not fear, it could also affect people 60 plus. So be careful with that. And if this video helps you a lot, please share it with your friends, families and cousins so they can get the precautions too and avoid getting coronavirus. So bye guys.